Oh, hello. I'm Squeak, and I live down here in London's Oxford Circus Tube Station. There are lots of other mice down here. You'll be meeting some of them later on. You may think all that happens in a tube station is that people catch trains. Well, you'd be wrong, because there's much more here than meets the eye, as I discovered when I first arrived from the countryside. You see, I used to be a field mouse, but now I'm a tube mouse. <laughs> Let me show you a few things that people using the trains don't see. But you must keep it to yourselves. <laughs> now, this is the courtyard where the tube mice live. This is my hole. <laughs> and right next door, ah, here she is, my best friend, Bubble. What is Squeak? What's going on? Let's go and see what's happening on the platform. She always has such a jolly good idea. There's always something going on down here on the platform. If we're not off on one of our adventures, we're cleaning up after you human, messy lot. Though we do put a lot of your rubbish to good use. The other day I found an old paintbrush, which is great for sweeping up with. Now, don't get me wrong, we don't take anything that we shouldn't. In fact, we have a code that we live by. It's called the Mouse Code. <clears throat> we never steal, that's what we say. We only use what's thrown away. You might think that these trains are just for people. Well, take a closer look. Yeah, that's right, those little doors. <laughs> As you can see, they're for mice. Tell you what, have a quick look at our compartments before the train pulls out. Who did it? Hello, look who it is. It's Toaster. Come on, Toaster, wake up, or you'll miss your stop. Hey? Oh, hello. Oh. I was dreaming about food. There's only one thing better than dreaming about food, and that's eating it, eh? <laughs> I'm always on the lookout for something to eat, cos I'm always hungry. No matter how much I eat, I always have room for more, so if there's any food lying around, I'll soon spot it. Whoops! Here, who left that there? Ooh, chocolate. And here comes Vernon. He'll help me. Help me to eat it, that is. <laughs> it's funny, but Vernon is always around when there's something worth finding. Vernon is my very best friend. He's so clever. He's so wise. Don't, Don't you, you believe, believe a, a word of it? it. Vernon is, uh, hmm. Well, see for yourselves. Toaster, you short-sighted puddin'. Why don't you stand on your own feet for five minutes when I'm not around? Hello, what have we here? We'll share this chocolate later, Toaster. Two bits for you and six bits for me. <laughs> Poor old Toaster. He's hard being an idiot when you've got no brain. He's as thick as that bar of chocolate. Speaking of which, you'll always find something interesting down here, if you know where to look. And I know where to look. In fact, I can find things before they're lost, <laughs> if you know what I mean. The only problem is those two goody-goodies bubble and squeak and a blooming mouse code. But there are ways around that problem. Yeah, but we've never found out how. Bubble and squeak always catch us out. Ouch! We have other friends down here. First, there's Mickle Mouse. He's our MP. <laughs> Mouth of Parliament. <laughs> and Darby, he looks after the platform when he's awake. <laughs> then there's Bo. Oh, she thinks she's an artist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and here's our friend Rapper. He don't half talk in riddles. Hi there, kids. Just listen to my chatter. Then you'll know why they call me Rapper. But together, you see, we, we are the Chimmies.